Hi guys and welcome to my what I eat in a week as a student. I don't really know what to caption or title this video but I'm just going to be showing you guys my go-to meals that are super quick and easy and hopefully it gives you some inspiration if you're kind of feeling a bit lazy one day but you still want to eat something that's very healthy and very very easy to make. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get started. So this first meal is my absolute go-to breakfast in the mornings. Um, oatmeal. I think it's a go-to thing for many, many people, especially vegans. But yeah, so I have my oats, I pour in my oat milk. I use the brand Oatly, then I put it into the microwave for one and a half minutes at 900 watts. I stir it around and I add my chia seeds and then my milled flax seeds. I should actually really get chia se like milled chia seeds, but don't have any right now. Then I add my grapes, which apparently isn't a popular choice for some reason. Then cinnamon and agave syrup to top it off. And boom, that is it. That is what I have in my oatmeal and it's perfect for me. I think the oatmeal is super soft and the grapes are just like a perfect combination. I love it. If you haven't tried it, you should definitely try it out. Hi guys, sorry for the little intermission, but I just came to tell you that this video is kindly sponsored by Goodwall. So thank you, Goodwall, for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard about them before, they're a social network um, used by many inspiring students of every and any type. So you can be in high school, uni, doing your bachelor's or a postgraduate degree. It doesn't really matter because Goodwall is still perfect for you. It is a positive student community to connect, showcase your achievements and to discover exclusive opportunities like jobs and even scholarships. One of my favorite things about Goodwall is that you are able to connect with other students and join group chats based off of similar interests and you can easily build strong friendships if you are interested in the same things and I just think it's a really great thing that you can have on there. I think I'm in a Fridays for Future group chat and because it's something I care about, I wanna try and make friends with people in that group chat because I think they'll be a good influence on me. So if you need some inspiration, you need some motivation, I think Goodwill will be perfect for you because everywhere you look, someone is doing something inspiring. Okay, so I'll quickly show you guys my profile. I spent some time trying to think of my own achievements and what I realized is that I actually wanna to strive to achieve even more after sitting down and self-reflecting for a while. This app is completely free of charge on iOS and Android, so that means there's no excuse to not join me for my Q&A session on the 30th of May at 5 p.m. GMT. Hopefully, a lot of you guys can make it and we can chat and you can ask about anything. I'll answer any study questions you have or, you know, just questions about my life, about veganism, like anything you want, I can answer that for you and we can have a little chit chat on there. To access the group chat, go to the second option on the bottom, click the chat option, go to groups and type in Catherine Way Q&A and you should find it. Hopefully, let me know if you have any problems on the day and I'll help you, um, but there it is. So I hope to see you guys. Once again, thank you to Goodwill for sponsoring this video. Please go check them out. I truly love this app and I hope you love it too. So let's go. Then my second go-to meal for breakfast is avocado toast. This is really simple, but I use the blunt edge of a knife to like cut out the avocado flesh and I cut it horizontally and also vertically, but I didn't show that here. Um, I scoop it into a bowl and I add one teaspoon of lemon juice and half a teaspoon of olive oil, I think. <laughs> Um, and then I just mush it all together, mush it, mash it, not really sure. I just mix it and I fast forwarded this because it's really monotonous and I didn't want you to have to sit through that. But uh, then I transfer it all to my piece of toast, spread it out, add my sesame seeds, add my oregano, which is key, um, black pepper and chili flakes and I also have some tomatoes I don't usually eat tomatoes with my avocado toast but I did today for some reason to make it look better I presume I don't know then I cut it into two triangles and that is my avocado toast 
Okay, for the next meal, you only need one aubergine, one pepper, and a can of chickpeas. So what you have to do is just empty the chickpeas into a sieve and make sure that you wash them because you don't want any of the juice on it. I mean, the juice isn't that bad, but like I didn't want any of the juice on it. So I washed it off. But I then cut up my aubergine. I cut off the head first and the end um, as I did there. Yep, that's it. <laughs> um, then I cut everything up. And you know, I love this meal a lot because it's just so easy to do bro i can't explain i feel like everything i'm doing right now is kind of self-explanatory like i'm taking out all the gross bits i mean technically i would still eat it but you know for the sake of the video i cut it out but i sliced the pepper into oh crap this is <laughs> going on don't keep i'm so bad at voiceovers bro i can't keep up here olive oil boom mix it all together you can do this with your spoon or you can do it with your hands i did a mix of both it was kind of convenient oh that fell out okay uh i emptied it all into a plate and i topped it with the chickpeas from earlier and then you can see coriander cumin salt and pepper boom it goes into the oven put it in for 25 minutes at 210 degrees i think that's what i did yeah um yeah, I'd been in for like two minutes there, but boom, this is what it looks like when it's out of the oven. It might not look that appetizing, but it's quite beautiful, not gonna lie. Um, I usually spread hummus on the base of my plate, and then I, like I put a generous amount, and then I put all of that on top, and then when you eat it together, oh my god, it is beautiful chef's kiss. I definitely recommend. Okay, so we're back. So this meal is one of my personal favorites. So I used broccoli and peas for this, but normally I would have used green beans, but I just didn't have any today. So I have four spring onions here and I chopped them. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm so proud of my improvement when it comes to chopping. I focused on improving that skill during quarantine and it's definitely paid off. Do you see this skill right here? I poured out the vegetables and I rinsed them with cold water so that they could cool on the side while I was making the sauce. So the sauce is the most important part. Two tablespoons of peanut butter, two tablespoons of soy sauce, the juice of one lemon or lime, it's up to you, and one tablespoon of hot water from the kettle. Um, and then I mix that all together and you've got to make sure that it looks like this when you put it in, that it's properly mixed up because otherwise it won't blend very well. Okay, so I add in the spring onions. I make sure to saute them for a while. Then I add in some ginger and some garlic. For some reason, you didn't see both there, but that was like paste form. Anyway, after that cooks for a while, I add in the sauce and some water to make sure that it has a good consistency and the udon noodles go in. I did two packets because I was cooking for my mom and myself. Mix it all in, looks great. It already looks great. I would already eat that right now. <laughs> Season it with pepper and some salt. I should have said salt and pepper. Pepper and salt doesn't sound right. Ugh, gross. Anyway, broccoli, peas, they go in. Mix it all together and you're pretty much done, I think. I think that's it. It's so quick. It's so easy. Bro, you gotta try it. Ah, oh, so good. Next meal, chickpeas, chop some spring onions. I think I used one here. Add it into the bowl. Actually, you should mash the chickpeas before you add in spring onions. That was my mistake here, but oh well. One tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Mix it all together. I think this was cumin. I'm pretty sure that was cumin. Yeah, I hope. I'll let you know in the description box what went in there. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I make, I made them into patties, so you can see me failing at trying to make one with the leftovers. But I had three here. They looked okay, you know. They tasted good. I would recommend actually not putting putting in garlic because it wasn't so good. The garlic was too strong for me. Maybe I just put in too much. I don't know. But. Here you go, dishing once again for me and my mom because I have been cooking a lot for my family lately and it's been so fun. I honestly love cooking uh, so much. 
and I made some salad as well to go with it. And boom, that is it. Once again, we're moving on to another meal. Well, this isn't technically a meal, it's more of like a dessert, let's just say. Here's me struggling to get a banana out. I actually ripped it open by accident. Oh, here you see blueberries, frozen fresh berries, banana, and strawberries. Yeah, okay. Oat, me oat, oat milk, oat milk, oat meal. <laughs> Oat milk goes in, some flax seeds go in, and when I say this is one of the best smoothies I've ever made, I am not joking. It was so fresh, it was so cold, it was so beautiful. Um, it was just great. I want to eat it right now, but I think I'm having soup tonight, actually. You're welcome for that detail that you did not ask for. And yeah, I served it for me and my dad, and then whatever leftovers there were I gave to my mum, because she didn't actually ask for any, but you know, out of the kindness of my heart, I gave it to her. Okay, for our last meal, aubergine, peppers, mushroom, rockets, um, and chilies and a pizza base. And guess what we're making? We are making a pizza, of course. So I just washed all my veg, starting with the mushrooms, and then I moved on to the pepper, and then I moved on to the aubergine. So, you know, it's important to wash your veggies. Then this is just the cashew cheese substitute for cheese that you put on the pizza and it tastes so good i'll put it in the description box how to make it um then we just put on some tomato puree on the pizza base and we grilled oh god okay. <laughs> <laughs> my dad making a joke hee <laughs> hee um we put some chilies on then we grilled some aubergines which sounds pretty weird but once you're a vegan you're kind of open to anything so you know uh, there's peppers left and some mushrooms which would go on right after yeah there you go so it's just the peppers left to put on and i'm pretty sure that after that that's it i know that the pizza looks incredibly loaded i am aware i don't know why there's so much on there normally there isn't that much oh well I don't know. Okay, and then we have sweet potato fries in the oven too. Okay, taking the pizza out. Oh, I forgot to tell you what temperature it was on. I'll let you know in the description box. I'll put most of the info there, but look at how good this looks. Do you see how good this looks? That looks beautiful. You should definitely try it. Anyway, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you try some of these recipes out. If you do try some of them, please let me know in the description. In the description, what? In the comments. And I would be happy to read them and reply to all of you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Stay safe. Love you lots. Bye.